Well, here's the next thing on this. You know what I hate more than fucking anybody else? Is people acting like they're fucking helping me, and they're fucking to me like I'm talking to me like I'm a fucking retardy kid. It's like you could do anything. You could be an astronaut. You could be rocket science. You just put your mind to it. You could be anything. It's like you know those sort of things that like you know when teachers telling a student that you pretty much know the student's gonna be responding like, "Can I be a fire truck?" Yes, little retarded Billy. You can. <laughs> We have the technology. We can build you bigger, faster, a better fire truck. So it's. I think that's actually what the response, you know, uh, Solik's uh, ancestor actually did, you know. Because, you know, its the ancestor was a Matuna captor, and in the post crash universe became, like, you know, the Condens ship. I just imagine that. <laughs> Uh, but like it's kind of that ridiculously happy pause of shit that's honestly the most annoying thing ever especially when they certainly prove after that like they don't know what fuck all for what they're talking about it's like any education is a good education yeah even a liberal arts degree in basket weaving the punchline there is all liberal arts degrees is, is basket weaving and if you have a liberal arts degree you would notice I'm being redundant there. Like, liberal arts degree, fucking basket weaving. Unless, of course, you're going to be a fucking teacher. Then, yeah. Yeah, okay, fuck, there we go, good. You have to be in there long enough, though, you know, get all kinds of other degrees, but... And you'd have a few other degrees they would be like, no, I got my teaching degree. Forget that I have a liberal arts degree. And... That's kind of the thing, though, is not all degrees are actually useful or decent, and the worst of these are usually doddering old, doddling old men that are, like, you know, retired and shit. So, like, university costs have gone fucking up. Uh, shit. Money has become less valuable, and we're not really getting paid that much more since then. <laughs> so jobs really aren't paying much more, but money's worth less, so it's pretty much like the jobs were paying less than they were back then. Like, way less. But, like, no, you go to a movie theater for that. And, like, the amount you're paying. Well, no, based upon money worth, based, based on cost of living worth of how much you're paying, you actually got paid better, better then. That's also when, like, you know, credit cards and checks actually meant something. Like, you know, today having a checking account or, like, a credit card account? Holy fuck! That means fuck all for people. It's like, everybody has that. Everybody and their kid's sister has that. Go back like 40 years though, that meant you're fucking impressive. You have a checking account? Fuck yeah! You know what you're fucking doing with your money there. Obviously, if the bank's willing to trust you with IOU slips, I mean, in a credit card, you are got, you got all the fucking money there, man. Like, all of it. Like, so much freaking money there. It's, it's ridiculous. That's why, like, you know, girls in, like, you know, 1950 shows go crazy over a gold card. It's like, what? Your entire house is made out of gold bricks? So it's... The world has fucking changed, and there's a lot more scam universities than there was back then. Like, it's actually easier to find a university, that university and schools or whatnot, to get bullshit for fucking degrees. Usually they might have one or two decent degrees in amongst them, but even then it's like... So many programs are based on that stupid notion that, like, any education is a good education. And it's like, well, people are paying money for these any educations. Well, it's kind of like, you know, all the karate clubs that opened up the 80s shortly after those kung fu movies started shown in North America. Do you know how much bullshit, like, sort of dojos opened up after the karate club? The karate Kid made these sort of uh, movie theaters? Three Ninjas, again, that effect. Universities have been having that effect constantly over the last like few years. And so they're like, well, what do you enjoy best? What the fuck? Don't you know fucking anything? How, like, how do you get to that age and no fuck all? As soon as you start doing something you enjoy, you're going to stop enjoying it. Like, as soon as you do it for work, it's just kind of one of the rules. It's kind of one of the warnings people give out there. You're going to have issues enjoying it if you start doing it for work. Which is kind of why I'm considering the sex trade. That way I can start fucking hating the fuck out of sex and move on with my life. Fuck everybody. 
hate you all. I mean, it's the whole familiarity breeds contempt, but they're like, well, maybe you just didn't really like it. Maybe I should get job stabbing you, old man. Because that seems pretty enjoyable right now. I should do that. I should get jobs stabbing people that I have fucking hate their opinions. No, no, it's not like some other person ordering me to stab people. No, I decide who I stab in the face. Several times. I mean, is there any careers doing that? Because that sounds lovely right now with dealing with that shit. And the worst thing with these assholes is, like, they get pissed off when I'm not happy and sort of receptive for what essentially is bullshit advice. It's like, oh, well, you apply, you'll just go check the government, you know, see if you apply for, like, funding. Fucking God. You mean before I remember to put pants on before I leave the house? God, it's like, you know, walking outside and, like, realizing you shouldn't be naked or walk outside or, like, remembering to put on clothes. Fuck, I mean, wow, you just suggested one of the first few things anybody fucking tries. And they're like, oh, well, I, I suggest my best answer or whatnot. Well, fucking just admit it from my face, you're fucking useless. Just be fucking like that. But like, it's no, you're just being negative. Of course we fucking negative on housing. Look at where the fuck I live. Okay? Look at where the fuck I lived a couple months ago. I was fucking homeless. Before that, look like, fuck. I'm pretty much moving from one sort of shithole to another. And I mean, some people might get pissed off that I'm referring to that, but honestly, this ain't even a fucking bachelor suite. The hospital, the, the, the bathrooms are at the fucking end of the hall. The neighborhood and type of housing I'm in, and the current way I'm supporting myself, has any fucking doctor I talk to thinking I'm fucking on all the drugs. All of them. And for some reason, drug tests always come back positive even though my understanding is I'm clean. So I have no idea why the drug test came back saying that I'm not, but whatevs. So it's... That's kind of like... The, ugh. And like, honestly, you should expect me pissed off, okay? Look, I don't really have much for prospects. You know, maybe take my clothes off for money if I get more gigs doing that, Okay? Maybe sucking dick on the corner. If I can, like, you know, fucking not want to fucking stab people long enough to actually stand on the corner without stabbing somebody. Seriously, fucking people need to be fucking stabbed. I mean, it's not necessarily, you know, maybe I just want to stab them really much and I'll come up with stupid reasons for it. It's actually a more likely answer. I should probably apologize to the next person I stab. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm probably just doing this because I'm really enjoying stabbing people. It seems like a good idea. You're probably not actually doing anything, but I probably saw something there. No, I was just, like, laying there bleeding. 20 wounds, like, on his arms. His torso is in four digits. I couldn't quite get up to five digits on the torso. But I gave a good old college try. See what I did there? See what I did there, Silver Empire. And it's kind of, it's kind of like the annoying part of this is, they're like, you should have a positive attitude. Why? That just fucking gets me fucked over every time I do. Every time I have a bit of a fucking positive attitude, bad shit fucking happens to me. Every time I have a fucking bitter attitude, the bad shit still happens. It doesn't fucking stop bad shit, whatever attitude I have. But at least with a bitter attitude, I'm at least a bit more prepared for the fucked up shit. And, you know, when good stuff does happen, which happens regardless of what fucking attitude I have, I'm just bamboozled a little bit less if I go into a little bit less naive and shit. Like, you know, pretty much understanding, yeah, I'm going to get ripped off here. I mean, when good things happen, I'm, like, relieved. It's like, well, I have nothing to, no idea what to do now. This is actually, you know, good things are happening here. Can you tell me what to do? <laughs> Not being shit on for once. Instructions. <laughs> and of course, I actually get instructions that don't actually work, and I end up losing in that situation. And people are like, oh, you should be nicer because I'm. No, fuck you. Like when you rescue animals that have been in fucking abused homes. Like, you know, a rabbit dog cat thing. That was a front of, like, you know, weird mating experiments and science and, like, just totally things gone awry expect that cat to have like a few problems not necessarily just immediately the humans cat bunny dog thing 
Like, you expect that creature to need a bit of recuperation, not necessarily react immediately when you start happening to it. Like, and that's kind of things that people say in nature shows, but, like, when people are helping people out, and there's, like, what? You're not acting like a total polite person right the fuck away, and I'm off. I feel insulted. And it's like, dude. 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 Dude! Do you know how psychological fucked up? Like, being constantly told how fucking useless I am by people is? Do you know what that fucking does to me? And then when you start giving shit that doesn't really work? Seriously. Did you actually fucking think that through? Or if I'm scared it's not gonna work, or I'm not gonna necessarily trust you? Like, dude, of course I'm not gonna fucking trust your fucking bullshit advice. Because guess what? All advice I get tends to be fucking bullshit. So yes, I'm gonna be leery and weirded and just kind of like, yeah, yeah, buddy. And the thing is, a lot of people don't fucking understand that. And just that makes this shit fucking worse. Solid Empire?